Hello, Woods class. In this video, we're going to make cribbage pig markers virtually for our cribbage board. So I'm just going to open up a cribbage board file here so we can inspect the holes that are already drilled in there to make sure we get a good fit with this marker. Uh, now, I said we're going to make them virtually. We will eventually 3D print these cribbage pigs. So we'll wait for this to load up. And what I wanted to show you, if my computer can handle it here, uh, is each of these holes that we made is an eighth inch in diameter. Um, as I kind of mouse over to highlight it, uh, you can see the wireframe where it is drilled down to the bottom. Uh, each hole has a half inch depth. So when we make our cribbage pegs, we want to make them about an eighth of an inch in diameter, actually not about, we'll make them exactly an eighth of an inch in diameter. Um, and we'll also uh, keep in mind that it may sink into that hole up to uh, a half an inch. So we need to have some material sticking up above the top of the board so we can grab onto those markers uh, as we're keeping score for our cribbage game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the home button. That'll bring me back to the start page and I'm gonna open up a new part file we're going to make this first one by drawing a circle, uh, turning it into a cylinder, and then you can choose uh, what you want to put on top of this cribbage pig. Right, so I'm going to go to my 3D model tab because I'm on my cam tab currently. And then I'm going to say start 2D sketch. Um, this isn't quite as important as when we're using the CNC router to start on the XZ plane, uh, but I'm going to do it just because that's kind of the habit we're in. Right, and now I'm going to make my circle. And I'll go ahead and I'll start at the origin by clicking once. Right? And I'm going to make this an eighth of an inch in diameter. So I'll type in 0.125. Click enter. Finish my sketch. And now I can use the extrude button. Now I would recommend, you know, depending on what we want to put on the top of this pig, uh, making your cribbage pig at least one inch long here. Because remember, uh, potentially half an inch. It right, could be hidden inside of your board. So you want to have it sticking up high enough so it's easy to grab. Uh, I might even go a little bit taller than that. I might make it 1.5 so I've got a whole inch sticking up above my board. Okay, now at this point, you can kind of customize it however you want. Um, I've probably told you some stories in class already of different ones that I've seen. Okay, I'm going to do this one real simple. Uh, I'm going to put a square on top of here. And uh, I think maybe just leave it at that. And so in order to do that, I need to find a, a flat space. And so I'm going to use the top of the cylinder. I'll right click. I'll say new sketch. And so now I'm sketching on the same plane as the top of that cylinder. Uh, and then I'm going to come to my rectangle. And I'm going to do a, a two point through the center rectangle here for this one. Uh, I'm going to start at the center. And then you can see I can drag my rectangle up and out. And I might do this uh, point two, click on the tab button to move between those boxes. I'll do it at point two. And that will uh, finish off oh, my sketch. Maybe I didn't hit enter. Imagine that I made a mistake. We can go back and fix it. And then I'll hit enter. There, I can see my rectangle. I'll finish my sketch, and then I can extrude uh, this area up. Now, maybe I don't want that top to be quite so big. That looks kind of goofy. I might go at 0.25 and maybe make it look like a box. Uh, now, Inventor does have a couple other tools you might want to experiment with. There's this fillet tool. Uh, what a fillet will do is it'll round an inside or outside corner. So I can come to the bottom of my, my cylinder where it meets up with that square, and I can say fill it, this circular profile. Uh, but it's not showing me anything on my screen right now because the radius is super huge. So I had to come over here and click on radius, and now I could go to like 0 0.05. And you can see how that will start to kind of bevel. Uh, well, actually a bevel would be a straight line. It fillets that inside of my marker pig. So if you like the way that looks, um, we can say, okay, uh, you can fill it any square edge. 
Right. The other one I might do just to make this pig slide in and out of the uh, cribbage board a little easier is I might come down to the bottom. Uh, maybe this time I'll use the chamfer instead of the fillet. And I'll click this bottom edge uh, and I can chamfer it. Uh, again, I got to give it a distance here, uh, at least a sixteenth of an inch or smaller. I'm going to go right at a sixteenth. And the reason it's got to be a sixteenth or smaller is because that's half of an eighth inch, right? Anything bigger than that would overlap itself and really confuse inventor. You'd get some error messages. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And, and there I've got one potential cribbage pig. So I'm going to save this to my Google Drive. Make sure, yep, I'm in my, my Woods Google Drive. All right, and I said we're going to model up two cribbage pigs, so we'll call that pig number one. And then let's go home, and we'll model up another pig. Now, I'm going to show you a second method, right? Maybe this will make more sense. Maybe it'll make less sense. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. Uh, this one, I'm going to revolve my cribbage pig around. So what I'm going to do is draw half of it, uh, and then I'll revolve it around its center profile, right? And you can kind of see a little preview on this picture here. So the revolve also starts off as a 2D sketch, right? but this time I'm going to use the, the rectangle instead of the circle tool. Oh, and I'm on my three or two point with the center rectangle. I'm going to go back to the top saw option here. All right, so again, I'm going to make this one point five inches long. Uh, now it's asking me how wide do I want this to be, right? I need to make this uh, a sixteenth of an inch wide because that's half the distance or half the diameter, the radius rather of my rectangle. So I'm going to click enter to lock that in. Right here you can see that profile. Now let's say uh, on this one I want like a circular orb on the top. Uh, I can come up top here and I'm going to click my circle button. Uh, I can drag out a circle. Maybe I want it to have, a, we'll say, a quarter inch for size. <clears throat> and now I got to do a little more sketching here. I'm going to take a line and, and I'm going to draw it up to the top of that circle. Uh, then I'm going to use the trim tool. And, and what I want to do is trim away the... Uh, Excess lines. Oh, but can't take that one because that's setting up the the overall height of this object. Right. Uh, but I can come down here and take this one. All right. And then I, I kind of like that rounded shape. This one I might try and champ for a little bit more. So I might come up here, have this inference, the center point, and then maybe I'll draw a line coming up. I don't know. Let's 1.5, maybe I'll come up 0.2 or so. All right, and then I'm going to come back and trim this stuff away. Whoop. All right, so when I did that last trim, uh, because I got some dimensions in here, uh, telling it how wide this thing should be when I trimmed this edge of the line, then that piece slid over. So I just used my undo. Uh, I'm going to keep it like it is here and say finish sketch. Again, you can get as fancy as you want. Uh, here's the revolve feature now. When I click on revolve, I can come over here and pick my inside profile. And then I can revolve it around this axis, but it's still not quite working right. I need to go back into sketch number one. Uh, and I think what's really goofing me up is these dimensions on here. So I'm going to Double click sketch one. I'm going to go back into sketch number one one more time. I'm going to click on the dimensions and just delete them. Because right, I think those dimensions are what were keeping me from being able to get rid of those last couple line segments. So now I can just come in here and I can delete that line. And we can come down to the bottom. Uh, this one, because it's one line segment with a, an intersecting line in the middle. I do need to use the trim tool on. All right, and now we'll, we'll say finish sketch. We'll try this revolve tool this time. 
And it's still not letting me pick the center section. So sometimes when it does this, it's because we don't have a, a straight line. And so what I'm going to do is come from the, the top of my circle uh, down to the end point here. And I'll just redraw that line. Hopefully that'll fix it for me. Uh, the other issue I might have is right here at this corner. Uh, it looks like it's meeting up. Sometimes if there's an open point, it won't let you revolve. There, I was able to pick that profile. So now I can come in and say, this is the axis I want you to revolve it around. Right, and you can see uh, we've got our second cribbage pig modeled up. And so again, I'm going to save this. Uh, we'll call it pig two. And then the last thing we're going to do is see the, how these fit, how they look in our cribbage board. Uh, so we'll do that in the next video segment.